Michigan hospitals, meantime, at or near capacity tonight, uh, can uh, try to find uh, the space for, for more beds. But it won't help if they don't have the staff to take care of more patients. And they say there is a serious shortage of nurses right now. 7 Action News reporter Nana Sinchibonsu is uh, learning more tonight about what doctors call the real crisis. The nurse shortage we're experiencing right now is nothing new. It's ongoing. But what we're seeing is that travel nurses are being offered nearly three times more than what staff nurses are making right now in the hospital. This makes it even harder and discouraging for nurses to stay in a profession that right now is in dire need. Cases are surging. Hospitals are full and we have a new variant. The state's chief medical executive says Michigan's COVID-19 cases are higher today than they were last year. Recent data shows that over 50% of ICU patients are on ventilators, forcing the state to tap into the Federal Reserves for more. We have enough ventilators, but it's it's on thin ice. Dr. Ron Katu, a physician at a local hospital system in Metro Detroit and owner of Express Med Urgent Care says what we don't have enough of is nurses. You can have all the vents, you can have all the rooms, but it's the nursing issue that's the biggest problem. That's the, that's the real crisis. On social media, staffing agencies are sharing post advertising. Detroit is in need of ICU nurses. These are travel nurse positions with a starting pay of $109 an hour. Staff nurses are frustrated when they have to work next to a person that makes three times as them doing the same job. The same shit. Chelsea Brown is a registered nurse at a local hospital. She also owns Avid Medical Staffing Agency with Mazalyn Jones. Their goal is to help fill the gap and advocate for better work conditions and pay. We can um, negotiate better just because we, we know where you're coming from. You know, we're on the front lines with them. They're all, we're, they're our staff, but they're our co-workers as well. Dr. Katu says he understands the immediate need for travel nurses, but says it can interrupt the efficient workflow. You're not going to fight a pandemic by putting people together who don't know each other. Nurses say this also puts a strain on current hospital staff. Now they have to manage their assignments or their patients, but they also have to um, extend a little more of a helping hand. They say the immediate solution to helping fight this crisis is for hospitals and health facilities to take care of the nurses that they do have instead of looking elsewhere. If you can properly take care of them, then your gaps will be filled. You'll re retain your employees. You know, you'll have the help that you need and you can eventually costs will go down because you won't have to hire as many travel nurses. Just treat your, treat your family right. Dr. Katu says another concern with hiring travel nurses from across the country and even different parts of our state is that now we are pulling resources from hospitals that are also dealing with their own shortages. I'm Nona Sintio Bonsu for 7 Action News.